Hi, my name is Steve Robinson, and many of you know me from my podcast, Our Life in Christ. And for over 10 years, I've been looking for a real succinct illustration of the difference between the Protestant view of salvation and the Orthodox view of salvation. And I'm stealing this from Father Anthony Carbo. Um, so, and he knows it. So this is the gospel in shares. So the Protestant view of salvation goes something like this. In the beginning, God created man. And man had perfect fellowship with God. But then in the garden, man sinned. And he turned away from God. And then because God is so holy and righteous, he cannot look upon man any longer. Because man is sinful. No matter what man does, no matter how hard man tries, no matter how righteous man is after he has sinned, God still cannot look upon him in his righteousness and holiness because man is still sinful and no amount of good works can repay God for the offense that man has given him. And so man is in a constant state of separation from God. But God in his love for man sends his son Jesus Christ who becomes man and lives as we should have lived in perfect communion and in sinlessness before God. And then at the end of his life, Jesus Christ is crucified. And when he's crucified, God does the unthinkable. He lays all of the sin of the human race on his son. And when he does that, because he is holy and righteous, he turns his back on his own son. And the son experiences the fullness of the wrath of God against us in our stead. Now we sinners, if we believe that Jesus Christ has done this, if we believe that Jesus Christ has died for our sins, we too can now have this perfect fellowship with God once again. Because when God looks at us sinners, he no longer sees us, and he no longer sees our sin. He sees Jesus Christ in his blood. We are covered in the blood of the Lamb. We are, as Martin Luther said, snow-covered dumb. Or as R.C. Sproul put it, Jesus Christ is now our asbestos suit against the white-hot wrath of God against sinners. But, if the human being who is sinful does not believe in Jesus Christ and his righteousness and accept the righteousness of Christ in his stead, then, excuse me, God cannot look upon him. And in the end, the sinner will be cast into hell in eternal separation from God, suffering the full punishment that he deserves in his sins because he has not accepted the sacrifice of Christ. And so, in a nutshell, that's the Protestant view of salvation. The Orthodox view of salvation begins much the same way. In the beginning, God creates man in his image and in perfect communion with him. And then, in the garden, man sins. And in his sin, man subjects all of creation and himself to futility, corruption, and death. But God, because God is life, and because he is love, cannot bear to see his creation subjected to futility and death. So God becomes man. And when the woman, in her brokenness, and in her corruption, goes from relationship to relationship, seeking and thirsting after true love. God sits down beside her at the well, and he says, I am the water of life. I love you. And when the man uses his fellow countrymen for career and for money. 
and is ostracized and alienated from his own countrymen and outcast of his own people, God says, Come down from the tree. I will eat with you. And when the woman is caught in adultery and is cast before God, God says, I do not condemn you. Go your way, sin no more. And when man experiences the corruption of the creation, the futility of random illness, the death of innocence, and the despair of loneliness, God says, Take up your pallet and walk. God says, Tabitha, arise. God says, go in peace. And when man, in fear and cowardice and envy and jealousy and greed and political ambition, take God and betray him, and spit on him, and beat him, and crucify him. God says, I forgive you. And when man experiences the final separation and utter dissolution and separation from God, and dies, God says, love is stronger than death. Even though you make your bed in Sheol, I am there. And God dies. But God says, I am life. And in the power of my life, and in the power of my resurrection, all will be raised with me. And now, there is no place where God is not. There is no place to escape the love of God. There is no place that we can hide from God's love for us that flows from his heart like a river of fire. And God says, for those who love me, God says, for those who love me, my love is like light and warmth. But to those who hate me and close their eyes against my light, my love is like a consuming fire. And so, that's the orthodox view of salvation. In a nutshell, it's not perfect. But that's how we view the love of God. In our Paschal hymn, we sing, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and to those in the tombs bestowing life. That's the core of the gospel of our salvation. So, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can Google me.